Scott, that uh, game had a bit of everything. Uh, what did you make of it? Yeah, I think it was a game of two halves. Um, I think the first half we probably had the better of possession, but I don't think we were hurting them often enough. I think at times we were passing the ball to pass the ball sake rather than to actually hurt them and get in behind them and make them defend. So we spoke about that at half time and I think Derek comes on, the first thing he does is run in behind, gets is up getting a corner and we look I think to be honest, I don't think it's unfair to say we were on the front foot for the full second half and, and deserve to get back in the game. I mean, jumping ahead to that, we, we, we probably gave away a couple of cheap goals and got ourselves into a position where yeah. the fight back needed to be done. Yeah, the goals are not good enough. Um, the boy walks, his back, walks by two or three of other players in the box and it's a simple tap in. And Jacob's got to do better. Again, there's no hiding place. I know he's, he's a kid, um, but ultimately you can't keep making mistakes. And I've spoke to him about that and, and he'll learn from it, hopefully. Um, but he needs to learn fast. It's a, a man's game and we, we can't keep giving away goals. Ultimately, that can be, that's the difference between winning the game today and, and not. Um, so, yeah. Come to the second half, as you say, I felt we dominated the second half. We, we, seemed to take, we didn't really threaten too much for the first 20 minutes yeah. or so. It's, it's the bonus for Sonal, the fact that tonight actually showed what your squad's capable of. Yeah. You made those changes and late in the game we were able to hurt them. Yeah, yeah, I'm pleased with that. I'm really pleased with the impact of the subs. Um, again, boys will be unhappy they're not playing, but that's how you correct it um, and give me a, a decision to make. I thought I'm not going to name names because there was a few of them, but uh, the goals ignite us a wee bit, certainly the first goal, and I think there was only one team going to get back in it at that point. They broke away and got a couple of shots at goal, but that's natural when you're chucking everybody forward. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too disappointed. I feel like if we had really turned up and played at the right intensity since the start, we'd, we'd win the game. But I think second half we, we recovered what, what didn't go well first half. And you know, this maybe sounds wrong, but speaking as a fan, I didn't really care too much about the penalty shooting. Yeah. To me, I took it we played away at a League Two game. I've actually got a two-all draw. I've just said that to the players. Forget the, the pens. Um, forget the pens for now, but if that's a league game, uh, we get out here with two each, we take the point and we go. So that that's a positive. Um, especially with six, seven minutes to go, 2-0 down. It would have been easy for the game to fizzle out, but it showed real personality. Uh, and yeah, stepped up and got us back in the game. Um, squad was bolstered today. You brought in a couple of couple of fresh new players. Yes. Uh, Paul Woods and Robbie yep. Foster. Who... Yep. What are you looking for from both of them? Yeah, Woods, obviously Woods is well known to everybody here, um, popular figure. So let, I've kept in touch with Woods the, since I played with him with my spell here. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a no-brainer for me, but I felt like with Robbo coming back um, to fitness soon, I, I probably need another hand, helping hand. Um, and he's a perfect man for it. He's, he's, he'll be a really good bridge between the players and myself. Uh, and not only that, he can offer something on the pitch. Um, so, yeah, I'm really pleased with getting Woodsy in. He's he's delighted to be back. He, he loves the club, so it's a brilliant opportunity for him. Um, obviously, bringing Robbie in, um, I, fe I did feel that we up top. We had to strengthen and give us more options, and, and he'll do that. Uh, it was a difficult game for him tonight, his first game. Um, have, only... you actually, have you actually met the players before? No, no. Oh, sorry, he trained once. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Um, it trained once, but the, the deal only got done late last night, so into this morning, in fact. Um, so it was always going to be difficult for him. I thought he'd done well. I think he saw glimpses of what he'll give us in terms of his pace. Um, and, and yeah, he'll, he'll complement the other strikers we have. I thought Ryan, Tam, Denning coming on were, were excellent, all doing different things, but all hurting them. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pleased overall. And Saturday you've got a blank day, are you going to use that as a, a training day or a break? Or uh, you're, you're not taking a friendly or anything? No, we're not. I, I, was, to, I was talking about a bounce game. I'll speak to Robbo and, and Woods now um, throughout the rest of the week. And There's probably boys who need to get a wee bit of game time in their legs. I'm aware of that. Um, so we'll definitely train whether we play a game or not amongst ourselves. Or, I'll decide. Uh, but yeah, we'll do a wee bit of analysis. I always do a wee bit just now and look back in the League Cup campaign. I think there's probably more positives than negatives, um, which is pleasing.